Hello, it's Lisa. Um, I thought I would do a video for you today, um, but I need you to join in with me um, because I need your help. I want to do some dancing and some exercising with my hands. So I thought we could do some mark making um, along to some music, um, similar to right dance and squiggle while you wiggle that we sometimes do at school. Um, but this is over Zoom and it's a little bit different. So all you need is um, you could use um, a piece of paper um, and any mark making implements. If you've got pens, felt tips, crayons, paints, um, whatever you feel comfortable with, chalk. You could even do it um, when, it, when it's dry ever <laughs> um, outside and do some chalking on the pavement, big movements. Um, or on the wall or something outside in chalk, um, completely up to you. Um, some of our children um, are maybe not able to hold pens and paintbrushes and things by themselves. Um, and we want all, everybody to be able to join in. So maybe for, the, for those children that need something just a little bit different, um, you could get a tray um, or maybe on your table, at home or something where where they can sit. Um, I'm thinking a tray because it'd be contained. Um, and you could put sand, some flat like some flour, um, like baking flour, um, paint even if you don't mind getting a bit messy, just a thin layer so that when you move your hands in it will make marks. Rice, you could use dried rice. That'd be really good because it moves um and makes you know makes marks when you move it anything like that um and obviously the adult can support the child to make those movements and model it with them so today we're going to make marks um, along to a song that i really love and i think everybody has heard and knows um the song is proud mary and um, it's a really upbeat song and a dancey song so we can dance along to it as well as moving our, our hands um Excuse my little boy over there, he's busy um, shouting, as you can hear. But, um, yeah, so we're doing Proud Mary, and the marks that we're going to practice today are circles, because the song talks about rolling, so rolling, round and round circles, that's the link. Um, and we're going to do some wavy lines as well, because it talks about the river. Okay, so before we do that, we're going to do some, some big movements um, and practice what we're going to do um, on our paper or in our materials. So I want you, first of all, we're gonna make some circles with our hands. Um, you could use your finger if you wanted, or you could do big ones with your arms. The bigger, the better. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit small so that you can see. So we're gonna, first of all, with this hand or one of your hands, pick whichever one you want. Gonna make some circles and go round and round like this. Round and round. Make your circles get bigger and bigger if you want, and then make them get small again. Round and round. And then we're gonna swap and then gonna do the other hand, whichever hand you haven't just done it with. And you're gonna go round and round. Make them circles get bigger if you want. And then make them get smaller again. Very good. And then we're going to make our waves. So our waves go up and it goes over and down and up and down. Yeah, can you go up and down? It's a bit like a snake, isn't it? As well, up and down. Do it with the other arm. Up and down. Well done. Really good. Can you show me your circles again? Let me see. Round and round. Well done, and with your other arm. Round and round. And now show me your waves up and down. Now if um, whoever's doing this is maybe unable to move their arms and make these shapes, then we can help them to move their arms or we could make the shape, we, we could make them on their bodies for them. We could do it on the back, do a circle, a bit like a story massage. 
do circling through waves just to demonstrate what shapes we're going to be making. So um, you won't see me um, for a while while we do this because I'm going to share my whiteboard to show you what I'm drawing. Okay, and I'm going to put the music on. So I won't, you won't be able to see me, but as well as writing, I'll be having a little dance as well. So I hope you will be as well. Um, Grown-ups, if you can, you can take some pictures of your child doing this because we'd love to see them um, so that we can share what good work we do and put the work in the learning journeys at school. So I'm going to share with you my whiteboard, hopefully. So now you should be able to see my whiteboard um, and you'll be able to see me. Um, so I'm going to start the music. We're going to start off by doing circles. Then. Working for the man every night and day, and I never well, lost one minute of sleep. I and I was it. worrying about the way that things might have been. Big wheel, keep on turning. Oh, the pride that I keep on burning, and we're rolling, 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 yeah, rolling on a river. It's not the right slow, but we're to do our river. We're going to do that. 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 Fantastic. Now, if you have got your phone to hand grown ups or anything that you can take a picture of, I'd love you to take a picture of what your child's um, page or tray, whatever you're using, looks like now um, and see if we can see. Even if it looks a bit messy and they don't look like circles or squiggles anymore, um, waves anymore, that's fine. 
because it does get messy when you're doing this. Um, but it's more in the process of what we're doing. It's not about the end product, it's about the process. Um, and the process of doing it is more important than what we end up with at the end, because it might look like a page of scribbles, but actually we've practiced moving in different ways. Um, so yeah, so feel free to play this video again um, whenever you want um, and practice those movements. We'll do another video and we'll do some zigzags and we'll do some straight lines going down and across. Okay, so well done. You've done really good work. I'm really happy and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.